Hello and welcome to this Prospect 365 CRM video where we will be looking at how to use the Report Builder. The Report Builder allows you to create your own bespoke reports based on the data within your CRM. These reports can be exported, saved and shared with other CRM users. Furthermore, contact reports can be used to build target contact lists for your campaign activities. To access the report section, just expand out the left hand side bar and the following report groups will be displayed. You can add and create reports with any of these groups. Please note that any reports created through the general report groups, such as people and places, all CRM users will be able to view these. Any personal reports should be created within the My Reports group. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to create a new sales report called Active Leads by Salesperson. To create a report, you will need to navigate to the folder that you wish to create the report within and then click add report. So for this example, if we go into our sales group and all the way down at the bottom, click on add report. As there are many fields within the CRM database, we have to add an entity filter. So only the fields relating to this entity are returned. This avoids the user having to search through loads of field names when choosing their report columns. As I'm going to create a sales report, I'm going to select the lead entity. Once you have selected the required entity, click next. This will now show me all of the fields relating to the lead entity. This will be shown in a tree like view. To choose your columns within your report, just select these fields. So I'm going to choose description, which has already been defaulted for us, current status, created, and gatometer, and also our estimated close date. Along the top of the screen, it lists all the columns in the order that we have added them. This order can be changed by dragging and dropping these. Once happy with your chosen columns, just click next in the bottom right hand corner. This will then show me all of our leads within the CRM displayed using the columns selected earlier. To now add a filter to your report, you will need to click on the three dots in the top right hand corner and select filter from the drop down menu. As standard, the status flag filter will be applied. This will be set to remove any leads that have a status flag of deleted. If you would like to add additional filters, just click on the add filters button at the top. You can filter on any field which relates to the pre-selected entity. Therefore, if I wanted to filter by salesperson, I could go through the tree view and select that. Once you are happy with your selected filters, click continue. I can now select within the drop down for salesperson myself. And as you can see, it is then filtered the leads in the background on the report, showing only one lead that I am currently the salesperson for. Now that we've created our report and applied our filters, we need to save it. If you click back onto the report, in the top right hand corner, you have the save icon. By clicking this, you will then be able to give the report a name and then choose whether you're going to share the report or convert into a data set. Once happy with the information entered, just click save. 